Uh, here's a story that's got you all worked up. Uh, if you go down to London, central London, Oxford Street and uh, Regent Street, the big shopping streets, massive thoroughfares, uh, the they put all the Christmas lights the up and they put Easter lights up, except they're not Easter lights, no. are they? I no. think we've got a picture. They're Ramadan lights. No! Stop it! This is just wrong. It's Easter, right? Today is Eucharist, Maundy Thursday. Tomorrow is Good Friday. On Monday, we celebrate the resurrection of our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. What a great day and moment in history that was that changed the course of the world for the better. We're a Christian country. Easter is the most important festival. Forget Christmas. This is the big one. It's not about chocolate eggs. It's about something far more important than that to Christians. And look, this is the capital city of the United Kingdom, a Christian country. Country. That is still our state religion, whether you follow it or not. And we've got a big Islamic festival being celebrated on the main, most important thoroughfares. Uh, this is just insane. What message is this saying to Christians? What message is this sending to the world? And I'd like to point out, I got no problem. If you're a Muslim, practice Islam. I respect religions. I am religious. Everyone should have the freedom to practice their religion. But if you go to Iraq, where once there were millions of Christians, you'll find there's about 300,000 these days. If you go to Syria, the Yazidi Christians have been murdered and chased out. If you go to Turkey, where once one third of the population was Christian, it's about 5% now. Christians are being har harried out of other countries, slaughtered. They have to leave in fear of their lives. Old Abdul Azadi knows this because he fakes being a Christian to prevent going back to Afghanistan. They don't let us put our Christmas lights up, do they? Why can't we just have Christianity not eroded in this country, but respected because it's a huge part of our legacy. It underpins our cultural values. Whether you worship it or not, doesn't matter. It is what makes us the country we are today. This is insane. It's insulting. It's Easter. Get these lights down. Stop it. Could you just run us past that again? One more time, please. I'm just so fed up. I've ranted about this already, that I feel that there's one religion being forced down our throats. You know, yesterday was Holi, the big Hindu festival of spring, where they chuck coloured paints at each other. I used to live in India. Great festival. Where did. was that? I didn't see that. That wasn't celebrated. How many countries Why? haven't you lived in? No, about three. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, well, the racist. point... That, see, I, don't, I, don't, the I mean, I, I don't much care about Christianity or anything like that. I don't believe in it all. But uh, I do feel, I look at that, uh, and I absolutely take your point, I look at that and thought, well, aren't they, is somebody stealing our country or something? Yeah. I mean, why is there a, a, a big festival of lights above our two major shopping uh, thoroughfares, uh, celebrating a religion that isn't this country's religion. I mean, yeah. it's kind of During weird. During the most important festival of this country's religion, yeah. it is the constant creep, 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 erosion of Christianity, yeah. mock it, kick it in the shins, try and get rid of it, destroy our culture and our social fabric in the process. But do you know what? Let's just usher in another religion and use that one instead. And by the way, that was the mm -hmm. Muslim mm -hmm. mayor, uh, Not Sadiq. Under my that was watch. the Muslim mayor, Sadiq Khan, opening those lights back in Fine. March. Open but uh, anyway, like, but anyway, anyway, let's Christians. move on, let's move on. Uh, I think you made your point. Uh, very well, by the way. Uh, Clapham chemical attacker, uh, that guy, uh, Abdul Azizi, uh, Azidi, of course, who impressed all of those religious people and the Home Office and yeah. that judge uh, because of his sincere conversion to Christianity. Uh, guess what kind of a burial he had? Uh, we've got a picture here of uh, Abdul Azidi, Azidi being buried in a Muslim funeral. Right. Unbelievable. It, it, He's a liar. No, it makes an absolute mockery out of our judicial system and the judge who decided that he shouldn't be able to go home to Afghanistan because he's a Christian is going to be tortured. Yeah. Ha ha, absolute useless piece of work that judges. And what the question I've got, right, is Abdul Azadi's friends and family probably didn't stump up the cash for this. There was a huge backlash in the mosque about this guy being given a Muslim funeral because loads of people well, said, he said, well, he said he was a Christian. So who paid for it? Because normally when friends and family Family, don't want to pay for your funeral, it comes down to the local authority. That's right, the taxpayer, that's right, me and you. I'd be interesting to find out if we stumped up the maybe, bill maybe, for that. maybe it was the Probably millionaire businessman who funded the Ramadan lights oh, yeah, in he, Oxford he Street. Oh, yeah, he owns half a London, yeah. that geezer, uh, Right. Uh...